my view regarding the biggest issue for the March 2024 ACC Strategic Business Leader Athletic Trans Central Football Club Company is that it may be in breaching the financial fair play regulations or we can call it as the FFPR in the pre material that the SBL examining team has given you. Now, the examining team shows us the quick calculations regarding the relevant earnings that any football clubs need to follow in order to prevent them from being going bust. So, it has the regulation in the pre scene that firstly, the re relevant earnings should be a positive figure. If it is negative, as long as it is not exceeding $5 million, and that will be absolutely fine there. Now, we've got the calculations here, for example, we've got the relevant earnings for each year, and we calculate the total relevant earnings to see whether or not the football club is in breaching this regulation. So, for example, taking the three-year period in the pre season 25 plus minus 20 plus 17, giving us 22, positive, fine there, not breaching the regulation. However, in the next three years, minus 20 plus 17 plus minus 1, giving us minus 4, which is negative. However, it's not exceeding the $5 million dollars, this is why it is not breaching the regulation. However, for the fourth period, it is minus seven, it is not positive, and it's over five million dollars, and therefore it is breaching the regulation here. Now, I'm not the member from the SBL examining team, but if I'm the examiner, I will certainly set a question regarding this area. So, my top tip, of course, I've analysed the March 2024 and summarised them into approximately 140 pages summary, okay, already. They can view that not only I go through the pre scene but doing lots of summaries and combining with the um, syllabus knowledge and finally giving you the appendix which means the format, okay, sort of report, memos, and press release, how we write them in the actual exam, as a summary there. Now, I'd like to refer to my insights that I've set the following question for you. Let's see the requirement. 10 marks, meaning that we need to write 10 sentences, suggests how internal controls should be improved. Now, suggests means that we need to give practical advice combining with the pre material. Now, we're told that AT spent a lot of money to improve the team, aiming to do better in local and European games. However, they didn't pay enough attention to the FFPR or financial fair play regulation on rules, if you like. Okay. Now, they spend 30% more on buying players. In other words, overspending in acquiring the top players. The money coming in only grew by 5% there. So the financial situation is not very good there. So because 80 is not following the rules, it could be fined by more than 50 million USD. Might be stopped from playing in the competition for a season. Losing about $40 million in coming from the TV games and deals. And also making fans, sponsors, and top players lose interests in our company. So why do I tip that as the most important area? Is because if you're not following the rules, okay, it's the FFPR, not only we will be fined, at the same time we'll lose a lot of revenue from other sources. Now, this is why I require you to think about from the internal controls point of view, how to improve it or avoid such situations to happen in the future. Now, my approach in tackling the internal control, I've got my own mnemonic for this. 
is called CC ring. So I would expect students to use a holistic approach in considering all these elements in, in their answer. Firstly, I would expect students to talk about the control environment, followed by control procedures, risk management, information and communication, and finally, monitoring. Now, if I were you, when talking about the control environment, I would always focus on these two elements there. So firstly, I would say that currently in the pre scene there's only one audit committee without other committees at all. So you may be losing oversight in making sure that the spending, it is not overrunning our budget. So therefore, I would advise the company to appoint a compliance officer instead to make sure that such situations will not happen in the future. At the same time, I would like to look at from a culture's point of view. I would say that why not take experts from the finance team, legal team and so on and to form a separate committee and to make sure that the overspending culture would not happen in the future. Now, the way I'm going to be writing my answer, of course you can download the script here, okay, download my answer here. Firstly, I will help the marker by making sure that they identify or seeing my subheadings, okay, both the underlying it will be important there. Another subheading, I would like to use an other format, okay, just to uh, make it italic and to underline this. And making my points short and with details, okay, simply explain why and explain the implications and so on, and that would certainly help. So I would say that lack of compliance oversight, because we've got an audit committee in the precinct staffed by two non-executive, and therefore we need another officer, okay, focusing on this particular issue, and so on and so forth. Now, when I talk about control procedures, on the other hand, I would like to talk about it from the past and the future, the past financial statement and the future budget that we need to improve. I would say that the past financial information may not be integrated fully. Okay, now, the way that I explain this is that, for example, the player transfers, ticket sales, merchandise sales, and so on, this data coming from different departments. The finance department may not notice it or may not record the information or financial information in real time. Yes, of course, in real life, the often delays, okay, before we receive the data from the operational department, before we account for it from the finance department's point of view. Of course, in the future, why not to introduce the rolling budgets to make sure that the key expenditures will not be overspent? From the risk management point of view, if I were you, I would like to consider more variables to be factored in. So, for example, the market is quite volatile, especially in terms of acquiring the top players. And also, there might be changes in players' performance information all the time. So, this is why, for example, yes, you can introduce the tower framework in your answer. But I'm not being so clever in the risk management there. I will simply say to the examining team that, of course, the market changes will be dynamic. And therefore, I will consider those variables when managing the risk. Okay, of course, there will be a lot more point in discussing about the risk management. When talking about the information there, what I would do is that firstly, I will tell the examining team that, I've read the pre scene because I've noticed that currently the marketing and IT directors will be the same person. Is it good or is it bad? From my perspective, of course, it is quite bad. Right, so if I were you, I would like to advise the company to appoint a dedicated IT director so he or she can capture all the financial data in real time 
at the same time to make sure that the information system is secure. At the same time, I would like to talk about the information checks as well, because I believe that there might be siloed systems currently happening within our business. In other words, there'll be gaps okay, between the finance and marketing departments. For example, marketing departments spending huge amounts of money in promoting a particular event, the finance department did not notice this, did not notice that marketing department is overspending that money and it is beyond the budget. Finally, monitoring, for example, discussing about the ongoing checks by the internal audit function. Okay, so this is my uh, answer plan that you can refer to as my CC RIM, my own mnemonic that I'm sure that you'll find it useful. Right there, right. So when writing out the answer, make sure that the answer look clean. Presents the answer in this way will surely scores you very high marks in the ACC SBO exam in the March 2024 sitting. Right there, okay. So um, this is my top tip, okay, regarding the AT company. And if you want to learn more and learn more about this company, check out on my website. And I look forward to working with you to pass the upcoming SBA exam. Best of luck. APC, accounting for your future.